you guys, today's recipe is cheesy spaghetti bake. For those who have large families, this is perfect for you all. For those who don't, this is perfect for leftovers or if you're entertaining and feeding a crowd. Regular spaghetti is great, but adding it, the extra cheese in there and baking it in the oven makes it so much more fun. And it also, to me, keeps the spaghetti moister and lasts longer. The perfect way to stretch a meal. So let me show you all how we're going to make this. So you're going to need seasoned salt, garlic salt, onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, minced garlic, chopped bell pepper, and also chopped yellow onion. Okay, so we got our meat in our pan and we're just going to press it down before we add in our onion and our bell pepper. So I just start off with my onion. It doesn't matter, you can start off with the onion or the bell pepper. I just like to start off with the vegetables first so they can go ahead and cook with the meat and be nice and soft by the time that the meat is done cooking. All right, so we have that added. And of course, we're gonna mix it together. I just kinda like to go ahead and break the meat up a little bit at a time as I go before it starts to um, bind so it'll be easier to work with. You'll find that that's just much easier. Okay, so we got all that mixed together. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the seasonings in. All right, so that's the seasoning salt, or seasoned salt. It's actually seasoned salt, y'all. I've been calling it seasoning salt all my life. You know, you hear a name and you just kind of just go with it. It's not seasoning salt, it's seasoned salt. <laughs> anyway, garlic salt, onion powder, garlic powder. Here's our garlic powder. And some black pepper. I like to put all those flavors in here. I don't know when I started using all these seasonings. I just kind of started playing with things and it just worked out. So once again, we're going to go ahead and mix it together. And after we've gotten this mixed together and press it down some more. I like I don't like my spaghetti chunky. If you like your spaghetti chunky, go with it. I don't make it however you, you know, however you want your meat to be. Just don't have it too chunky since we're mixing it and then we're actually making this into a casserole. After you have your meat the way you want it, go ahead and get your water ready for your spaghetti. I still put oil and salt in my spaghetti. Oil to keep the spaghetti from sticking and salt for the flavor. People say you don't have to do that anymore. It's just my thing. I go with it. We're using a whole pack of spaghetti noodles for this recipe. It was about a 16 ounce bag. I always like to break my spaghetti in half. It just makes it easier for everything to fit in the pot. So go ahead and add all your spaghetti in the pot and stir it together and let it go. And we're gonna go back and check on our meat. Well, it's time to go ahead and add our minced garlic. I like to add it at the end because it really doesn't need to cook. So I like to add it in and then I go ahead and drain my meat and then it's time to add in the spaghetti sauce. We're using Prego hands down our favorite spaghetti sauce. So just add it right in, mix it, and just put the top on and let it simmer. Allow it to simmer for about five to 10 minutes and then when you come back and check on it, it should be ready to go. Always make sure to taste, taste, taste before you get ready to form this into a casserole to make sure that all your flavors are right. So let's get ready to put our casserole together. So you wanna use a, this is a three quart baking dish and go ahead and add your spaghetti in. And then we're gonna go ahead and pour the meat right in there. This is gonna make a lot of spaghetti, y'all. This is three pounds of meat. Okay, and after you have all that situated, we're gonna go ahead and add some sharp cheddar cheese. I've used mild cheese, all these different types of cheeses. To me, sharp is the best that brings out the flavor in this spaghetti dish. So we're just gonna add some on the inside and go ahead and mix it together and then we'll add cheese on top as well. Y'all know, the more cheese the better. Okay, before you add your cheese on top, just kind of make sure it's mixed very well and then go ahead and kind of try to get it as flat as possible. And then we're just gonna add those cheese layers. Just like that. My strategy is to go ahead and layer the cheese and then make sure that there's no spots that are just kind of exposed so you can keep that moisture in the spaghetti while it's cooking. You don't want your noodles to dry out. Also, by the way, we did not cook our noodles all the way because they're gonna continue to bake in the oven, so right above our dente. 
So cover your spaghetti with foil. Just make sure that it's sealed on the sides. It doesn't have to be laying on top of the spaghetti. The cheese is not gonna stick and cause a problem, so don't worry about it. Bake it in your oven for about 20 minutes, and when y'all take it out the oven, ooh, look at that spaghetti. Ooh, we y'all, so good. Please don't forget to like this video, share it, and if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see y'all next time.